you could have, like, for example, I can change this a little bit. Mm. Oh, it's, it looks this one, this one. Okay. So I can easily, you know, create a case such that your diagonal line no longer, you know, work because it, it intersects with other sides. Right? So, so the issue is how do we find the diagonal line that does not intersect with other sides? Right? So that's like uh, something we need to think about. Okay? So let me... Say, your simple polygon, doesn't matter how many uh, vertex it has, okay? It doesn't matter how many, uh, many vertex it has. It must have a vertex that has the minimum, uh, 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 minimum x coordinate, right? Or put it another way, like, leftmost vertex, right? Leftmost vertex. Okay, it doesn't matter how many uh, uh, vertex you have. So say this is the leftmost one. Okay, this is the leftmost one. I mean, you may, you may argue, how about if we have multiple leftmost vertexes? Okay, we could have, you know, uh, more than one vertex that happen to have the same minimum x uh, coordinate value. Okay, that's possible. But if that's the case, we use y value to break the tie. Okay, we use the, well, the leftmost, okay, vertex, if they are multiple one, we use the lowest one, okay, then, then we will only have one, right? Obviously, okay? So say this is the one that we picked. And uh, we can consider these two, the, 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 the neighboring vertexes, the neighboring vertexes. Of this, uh, of the leftmost vertex, we consider neighboring vertexes. Okay, and we try to draw a diagonal for these neighboring vertexes. If if this diagonal does not intersect with any sides. Great, we found that diagonal, right? Okay, if this ver diagonal does not intersect with any other sides, then we already have that. But if it intersects, if it, inter it, in it inter intersects with, 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 uh, with other sides, for example, like this situation, okay, um, let me make it look even more ugly, okay? We can have more than one of these. We can have... Uh, okay, say we have many of these that uh, intersect, many of the sides that intersect with this, uh, this, this line, okay? Then it means Inside this triangle, inside this triangle, there will be sunk uh, vertexes, right? Inside this triangle, there will be some vertexes uh, from this simple polygon, right? Right? 
Okay, and then let's pick the vertex with the smallest x coordinate among them. So in this, for these three vertex, assume this is the one that has the smallest x coordinate value. Then we just draw a line from this one to to this. Okay, this diagonal is impossible to intersect with any other side, right? Because this 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 is this vertex is already a leftmost one, right? Among all the vertex inside this triangle, right? So when you draw a line from here to here, it's impossible to to for this line to intersect with any other sides anyway. Okay? So okay, if this works, great. If this doesn't work, we find we try to draw uh, a diagonal like this. Okay. So either way, we must be able to find a diagonal line in your simple polygon such that it does not overlap, it does not intersect with any side of your simple polygon, okay? And then we use the, this, uh, the following, you know, proof and, uh, you know, we have that statement, right? Okay. So, now say like uh, we have like, uh, um, for why do we need to talk about this? Because remember we are talking about cameras, right? Number of cameras at the beginning, right? So, you know, say if we are able to triangulate that simple polygon P into N minus two triangles, then for each triangle, okay, for each triangle, we just need to install one camera at you know any of the at one of the, the, the vertex in the triangle. Remember, tri because it's triangle, right? So that camera at you know, one vertex should be able to cover that triangle completely, right? So the simplest argument is that, okay, let's just have one camera at each, I mean, in each triangle, okay? One camera for each triangle. And uh, well, as for where to place it, we can place that the, the camera at, uh, at any vertex of the triangle. Then in that case, okay, if using that argument, we only need n minus two cameras. Well, we reduce n, ca n camera to n minus two. Well, it helps a little bit, but not much, right? So can we do better? Yes, we could do better, okay? Think about that. When we do triangulation, Keep in mind, okay, no matter how you triangulate your, your, your uh, polygon, your simple polygon, okay, the, the, the triangle that you create, there must be a side that is shared by two triangle, right? No matter how you draw your triangle, how you triangulate your, your, your uh, uh, simple polygon, Okay, each triangle must share at least one side, share at least one side with another triangle, right? If that's the case, okay, for those two triangles, for those two triangles, okay, you only need one camera for those two triangles. Say one triangle looks like this. Ah, uh, one triangle look uh, like this. The other triangle look like that. Okay, you only need one camera because you can have one camera that sits at 
one of the vertex that is shared by both triangles, for example here, then that camera can monitor this area as well as that area, right? And since each, you, you should be able to find, you know, such situation for any triangle, right? For any triangle in, in after you triangulate the, the same polygon, then they pretty much roughly cut the number of camera needed by half, right? By half. So it's roughly M divided by two camera. Well, this is a big gain, right? To reduce from N to N minus two to N divided by two. Okay, so we now only need N minus, N divided by two cameras, which is great, which is great. But uh, can we do better? Why, why n divided by three? Uh, I, I consider all the cases uh, with three triangle and I found that... With three triangle? Yes. All the cases with three triangle, what do you mean by... Since we can cover three adjacent triangle with one camera. Something like that, yes. But uh, yeah, the argument you may need to think about how do you use your argument, okay? Um, yes, we are going to talk about that. This is called three coloring. Three coloring, okay. Basically, okay, um, yes, we could do better. Yes, just like uh, what you said, okay. N divided by three, okay, is roughly enough. Why? Okay. We can, uh, uh, you know, we can show that by three coloring. Okay. What is three coloring? Okay. Basically, okay, we try to uh, um, think about this. We, we try to create, uh, uh, we first like uh, triangulate the, 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 our simple polygon, obviously. So, so um, then, okay, after that, after that, okay, we try to, for each triangle, okay, we try to um, remember like uh, in the last week lecture, we talked about dual, dual graph, remember? Dual graph, remember for each, uh, 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 you know, cycle, we represent it as a node, remember that? We talked about that last week. Yeah, it looks, so many of you look puzzled. I mean, well, trust me, we talked about that last week. If you don't remember, well, uh, 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 check out the, the handout last week. But anyway, okay, so for each triangle, for each triangle, okay, let's, let's just, I mean, use a node to denote it. Okay, use a node to do it. For example, here. And you will find that, and, and, and then if, if two triangles, if two triangles share a side, then you, you, you introduce a edge between these two nodes. Okay, then, okay, you will convert this triangulated polygon into some graph, right? Some graph. And then I'm going to show you, okay, first, this graph, okay, this graph is a tree. This graph is a tree. Second, okay, if this is a tree, then we could, okay, this is a dual graph, okay, um, we call that GTP, okay, and I'm going to show you this, this, this is tree. Okay, if you still remember, uh, again, something you learned from discrete math, okay, a graph is a tree if it satisfies two conditions. First, 
this graph is connected. Second, there's no loop. There's no loop in this graph. Okay? So first, I mean, well, uh, this graph is obviously, this dual graph is obviously connected. Because as I just mentioned to you earlier, okay, each, tri each triangle at least has a side that is shared by the other triangle, right? Each triangle is, at, I mean, at least has a side that is shared by the other triangle. So, so I mean, the, the, the graph is, has to be connected, right? Okay. Second, it cannot be, um, you know, it cannot be, uh, uh, there's no loop. Why, 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 why does, why cannot, why can't it has, have, have a loop? Because, okay, if we have a loop, if we have a loop, say it's like this, okay, say we have a loop. Remember each, each of these uh, 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 nodes represent the triangle, right? And each side, each, each, each edge represent these two triangles, shear and edge, right? Right? So that, what does that mean? That means, okay, say this is a triangle, let's reduce this one. And this one, okay, it share uh, one side, okay, so we have uh, this one. Okay, so this one goes here. This one goes here. Okay, and this one, okay, um, well, let's, uh, uh, um, well, let's say it goes here. This one goes here. And then, okay, because this one share the size with both this and this. So it is forced, it is forced that this one has to be here, right? What is the problem? What is the problem? In the triangulation process, in the triangulation process, all the triangles, all the triangle will make use of the original vertex. It will not have a vertex that is, uh, well, there's no impossible to have a vertex like here, in here. This means, this, this is not a vertex from the beginning, right? This is, well, it, it's, a, it, it's a point inside the, the simple polygon. That's impossible, okay? It's not a valid triangulation. Another possibility is like uh, uh, there's a hole. You can try to draw it. I, th I think another possibility is, is there's a hole. But, uh, but either way, as I said, like a simple polygon, I mean, for simple polygon, it is not possible. It is not possible. Okay, so, uh, um, so first, I, I mean, we have uh, this graph to be, this dual graph to be connected. Second, there's no cycle in this simple graph, uh, in this dual graph. So it means this dual graph is, uh, is a tree. So why this dual graph is tree is important, okay? It is because if it is a tree, we know tree has hierarchy, right? Tree has hierarchy. So that, that, I mean, for example, okay, now, okay, you can, you can use, uh, let's say this is the root, okay? And uh, then, I mean, uh, um, you, can, you can install, you can install, uh, you, you can try to draw, you can try to draw the, um, the, the these uh, three um, vertexes using, say this U is, a, U is a root. You draw these three vertex by different colors, by different color. And then you will force this one to be draw, I mean this one to be at, I mean, because you have to already decide these two color. So you can have uh, this one as a third color. And then keep going. And you will find that, 
okay, for all these three vertexes of every uh, uh, um, triangle, okay, you only need three different colors to make sure like uh, the adjacent vertex does not have the same color. Okay, this is not possible if the the dual graph is 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 is, is, is not a tree. Okay, you can you can give it a try. Okay, it, because the dual graph is a tree, so we can sh make sure. Okay, you can use three colors to draw all the vertexes, and uh, the neighboring vertexes do not share the same color. Okay, and then, okay, think about this. If this is the case, if this is the case, okay, you can just assume that, for example, that say that three color is uh, red, white, and uh, blue, okay? You can just have all the, because it means that every triangle has red, white, and blue vertexes, right? Okay, then you can just, you know, install, for example, cameras at the, the red point. They'll be good enough because every triangle has a red point, right? So that, as I said, pretty much cut the camera by, you know, I mean, into like uh, n divided by three, right? Roughly n divided by three, okay? So which is nice, which is nice. Okay. So, but, uh, well, let's take, uh, well, it's already 10 o'clock. Let's, let's take 10 minutes break. When we come back, we'll continue our discussion, okay? Mm. 你来了。